Hey, lessons. Welcome to today's lesson. We're going to be looking at ecosystems. So we're going to have a look at what an ecosystem is, understand what is in the world, and know key words associated with ecosystems. This links in with our weather and climate topic because different climate zones impact what lives and grows in that particular part of the world. Let's start today's lesson. So what is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a community of living things. So a key word we use is biotic, and this means any plant or animal. And then non-living, so abiotic environment. So this would include the soil, the sunshine, and the air. And they're all linked together and depend on each other. So for example, if a plant in an ecosystem dies out, the animal that feeds off that plant will also die out because their food source has disappeared. Now, as a recap, an abiotic factor are non-living things in our ecosystem, so like the soil, the sunshine and the air. And biotic factors are living things in our ecosystem, so the plants and animals. Now, ecosystems are found in particular parts of the world. Now, if we have a look at the key, we can see that the grey and white parts of the world are our polar regions. So this would include the Antarctica at the bottom and parts of northern Canada and northern Russia at the top of our map. We've also got things like our deserts, which are uh, indicated in yellow, which can be found in northern Africa, parts of Australia, Asia, South America and North America. Ecosystems also include aquatic ecosystems, so our coral reefs, which can be found off the coast of North America and northern parts of South America, Africa, Asia and Oceania. If we have a look at some pictures to represent our ecosystems, we've got our polar regions, we've got our tropical rainforest, we have got our temperate deciduous now, a deciduous forest is a forest that will lose its leaves. You can see on the picture that you've got leaves that are green and they're changed by yellow and orange colours before they drop to the floor, which we can picture. And we've got... Additionally, we have got a savanna, and these are usually found on the edge of our deserts. We've got our temperate grasslands, and we have got coral reefs. Let's have a look at the task complete this week. So for this task we're asking you to create a fact file on a particular ecosystem. So we've got a list of rainforest, desert, savanna, tundra, alpine or you can use any of the other systems that we've mentioned in today's lesson. So task one is to explain why you've chosen this ecosystem. It could be because you want to research more information on it or it could be because it's your favourite ecosystem. For task two you need to tell me where they are located. So where on the planet are they clearly found? So it could be the longitude and latitude, and you can also see the continents that they're found, the countries that are in this ecosystem, and any other major feature, such as a major river or a mountain range. And you can include a map to clearly show where this ecosystem is found. For task three, you need to describe what it is it like. So you need to tell me what the climate is like, how big or small this ecosystem is, what the landscape is like, any plants and animals that live there or any other information that can describe that ecosystem. And again, you can include pictures in this as part of your work. For task four, you need to tell me what people's lives are like there. So it might be the advantages that they face or the disadvantages that they face and how different groups of people have adapted to living in this ecosystem. So, for example, in the desert, you will find that there are no permanent groups living there. They generally are nomadic, which means they will move around desert trying to find the resources that they need. The final task that you need to do is tell me how that ecosystem is changing. So describe the main causes and impacts of this change and try and suggest of how we can manage the change. So for example if you're looking at the rainforest one of the biggest changes that we're facing at the moment is deforestation and how that's going to impact the world and uh, the animals and plants in that ecosystem. I hope you enjoy the research task. Thank you.